Hello, welcome back to Languages with Daniel. My name is Daniel and I'm a language teacher and a polyglot. And today we are going to talk about some common mistakes that people commit when they are learning a new language. Languages with Daniel. The first error is to set unrealistic goals. For example, let's suppose that your mother tongue is English and your goal is I will learn Japanese perfectly in just one month. Well, that's <laughs> overly ambitious and very unrealistic. What will happen is that you will get frustrated. You know, it's something that doesn't help you. We must set realistic goals depending on what we want and on time and capacity. Number two, do not saturate yourself with useless vocabulary. On the internet there's a lot of videos like do not say hi, say what's up and so on. And the idea from these videos is that you must avoid like the simple vocabulary and you always need to learn more and more and complex vocabulary. But actually we don't really need that amount of vocabulary. It's always good when we learn new words and so on, but on average we just need something about 3,000 to 4,000 words to be able to communicate. And we need to focus on that vocabulary that's important for us. For example, if you want to study medicine in another country, you will need to know the human body parts but you don't really need to know about the animals in the farm. Before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Third one, stop comparing yourself with other people. Yes, it's normal to see, oh, that guy is doing better than me, or oh, that girl always knows new vocabulary, but no. We are different, we have different circumstances, so stop comparing yourself with other people. Number four, do not be afraid of committing mistakes. Of course that when we are learning, we will make mistakes, that's totally normal. Yes, maybe we forget the conjugations, a word, but that's okay, and there's no reason to feel bad about it. Actually, mistakes are the best teachers, because normally when you commit a mistake, you will remember that situation always. And finally, do not feel ashamed. What do I mean with feeling ashamed? It's like, no, my language is terrible, my level is the worst, um, I don't know why, but I'm not able to learn and so on. No. The first thing that you need when you are learning a new language is to be self-confident. If you start thinking like, okay, maybe I'm not the best at this moment, you see it more as a challenge that you will be developing your skills. You just need to understand that learning a language is a process. We are not perfect. and you should feel proud because you're learning a new language. I know that there's always people that just want to make fun of us, to mock us, like, oh, your accent is terrible, ha ha ha. But no, you are doing great. You must feel proud of it and you must develop your self-confidence. I hope these tips were useful for you. Write down in the comments how was your experience or how it's your experience learning a new language and if you have ever had any of these situations. So we will see you the next time. Bye!